As part of our series on renewable energy, I'd like to talk a little bit about photovoltaics, so the solar panels that we see all over the place. So about 100 years ago, scientists recognized that when light hits a certain substance, it causes an electrical current to flow. Now, obviously, there have been a great number of developments and improvements on this idea in the last century, but that's essentially the part of science or physics that, that covers this. So let's talk a little bit about where we're going with respect to this, what to like, what not to like so much about it. Number one is that this is expensive. The costs are coming down, and that's a good thing. But right now, if you want to generate electricity with this, with photovoltaics generally, it's going to cost significantly more than it would with coal. Coal contributes about 48, 49 percent of our electricity in the United States. Uh, photovoltaics is far less than 1 percent. Uh, but as the costs come down, we're going to want to use this more and more, and that's a good thing. So another thing is that the efficiencies are improving. So for instance, if this is a square meter, let's just say this table, um, only a certain percentage of the light that's hitting it would cause um, electricity to flow. So you want to get more and more of that. And, and we are, in fact, getting there. The breakthroughs being made all the time on this. But generally, photovoltaics is a clean it obviously doesn't have any fuel cost. The sun's burning in the sky, and that's for free and forever. So the fact that this is easily installed, easily maintained, the guarantee that you get on solar panels is 25, 30 years. Everybody loves this. Here's something else to like about it. It supports what we refer to as distributed generation. So the fact that our way of looking at energy generation in the United States and around the world is really from huge utilities that are they're very powerful, monopolistic, regulated, that you're over there, we're over here, we sell you electricity, you give us money. So distributed generation calls that into question. We, maybe we don't have to do that. Maybe individuals can put photovoltaics up on the roofs. Maybe businesses can have enormous campuses of distributed photovoltaics. Now, it's true that utilities can get into this too, and that's a good thing. I'm not taking sides here. I'm just saying that this provides, you know, people re used to refer to solar energy as, as the people's energy, and to a large degree that's true. Now, what not to like about it? Obviously it's expensive, we've covered that. It's also intermittent. The sun, when the sun goes down, photovoltaics doesn't work. So um, what to do about that? Well, if you really want a lot of, we're under 1% penetration of photovoltaics in the United States here, but if you want a lot of it, if you want you know 10%, 20%, you're going to have to store that energy uh, during the day so that you can put it, you can distribute it at night. So that's, um, that's called intermittency and that's a significant issue obviously with photovoltaics. And the other thing is just simply, as I like to say, there's no free lunch. Everything comes at some ecologic cost and photovoltaics is no different. So whenever you put something between the sun and the earth, you cast a shadow. The things that the lizards and so forth that used to like the direct sun no longer have it. You make photovoltaics out of various substances, those have to be processed and so forth. So there's no such thing as a free lunch, but photovoltaics is a wonderful thing. It's headed in the right direction and there's a lot to like about it.